Greetings my YouTube friends. I thought I'd come on here and give you a quick look at what I keep in my um, pencil case that is really holds all of my planner supplies. The things that I need day to day uh, for both my work planner as well as my personal planner. So this is a smart fish, uh, really compact and super lightweight. Um, compared to some of the other cases that are this sort of design, this is much more compact and I can shove this in my handbag and it's it's really nothing at all because it's quite lightweight and and minimal. So in Office Works in Australia this is available. I'm sure if you put Smart Fit pencil case you might find other places around the world that it has. So here we go. So this has two sections on both sides and I've got it pretty full. Um, most people probably wouldn't have it as full as this. So in the left I've just got some little stickers these are my little animal stickers that I like to put in my um, in my planner. So yeah, these are just tiny little uh, stickers like that. Are they just so cute? I just really like them. I had the whole roll in here, and then I figured I could actually just pull off a bit and and just put a few in here. So that's all I really need uh, to keep in there. Then I've got some. Uh, washi stickers that I've been actually using uh, in my planner, which are uh, probably not those ones I'm not using, so I might put those aside. But these ones I've tended to use, so I shall keep those. And then I've just got some page flags and a whole bunch of stencils uh, that I probably could actually go through and cull, but not going to so I might just put these back so I'm just folding these this into three so I can fit it in there nicely and then that's just my little my little animal stickers so in the back I've just got uh, this little um, white out uh, tape I tried to use the <coughs> pardon me the pencil uh, the pencil white out uh, correction, but it didn't work quite as well uh, on the paper that I'm using in my both in my planner um, as the tape does. So I had to go back to the tape. I have a ruler for measurements as well as a um, Travelers Company number stencil. I have searched high and low for my Alpha One. I cannot find it anywhere. I know it's here somewhere, but I can't. Now, it's almost a regular thing for me. I'm on the hunt for things when I I know I've got something, and so then I go to look for it, and I cannot find it. And I literally am like a mad woman going through different things trying to find something. Now, the other day, I was trying to find my little brass pencil sharpener. I knew I had it. Couldn't find it anywhere. Gave up. Guess what I just found? As I was looking for this so maybe next time I'll look for something I'll find the um the number stencil now I've just got a whole bunch of stickers uh, in the back as well so that is that side now on the other side I've got a pen clip uh, some pencil um, pencil some paper clips as well as my little uh, USB that I use for my phone or my iPad that's got um, a whole bunch of movies and TV shows and things like that on it. Um, why do I keep that? Good question. Uh, I could be anywhere and I might just want to watch something so I just can just plug that into my phone or uh, into my iPad if I've got it with me, which I usually do. So uh, I am heading back to hospital shortly for some major surgery. So I always know where it is, so that's fine. Then all of the other things. Now I'll probably just take everything out and then go through them uh, to show you. So first is the Energel, uh, Pentel Energel uh, 05 needle tip pen, which is one of my favourite pens. So I keep one in there. I also keep this Hobonichi uh, pen from 2019. 
because it does have red and blue ink. It's a bit too fine uh, and it's not quite dark enough on the paper in my planner, but it for the other colours it works fine. Now I do have also a Sarasa clip which I really like and if I had a black one, <laughs> I'd probably be using the black one in my planner. Uh, I I have about six, seven of these. I thought, yep, that's the pen. Not one of them was a black one. And of course I can't buy a single black Sarasa clip, can I? Uh, to get a black one, I think I have to buy a set of, you know, a set of 10, you know, different colored ones or a set of five uh, heritage ones. I can get one, so not doing that. Then I have a Stadler uh, mechanical pencil. A Unipin fine liner in 0 0.2. I have a mono Tombow Mono Zero um, eraser that's a clickable eraser. And then I also have these portable scissors, which I, th I, I think I got them from JetPens um, quite a number of years ago. I honestly can't remember. I've had them for a long, long time, but I really like these ones. If I'm traveling as far as going interstate on the plane, I would not take these. I would have to make sure that these came out because I'm always worried that they're going to confiscate them because you're not allowed to have a blade that is longer than so many centimetres. This is certainly well over that. Uh, even though it's only this end, I kind of feel that, yeah, it looks like it's just one. So I'm just worried it would actually get confiscated and just don't want to take the risk. So I generally take them out and just go to this which is a muji uh, a muji one because it's you know super small so these wouldn't get confiscated or these haven't been confiscated because i have taken these many times so again if i was traveling i could actually just put that in there and then that's not a problem but it's not really my preferred uh, scissors so i tend to put those in there Okay, now last but not least, I saved the best to last actually. These are brush pens. They're called Rouge en Petit. Now, I got them last year in a stationery box. Uh, it comes in a set of six. So I'm just using the pink and the green. Uh, so they are a brush pen, as I said, but I am using them as a highlighter. Now, as brush pens, I find they're really pale. Now, that's the six colours that comes in the pack. I just, the yellow, you almost can't see at all. Um, most of them, they're really, really pale. So, as brush pens, I would find, I, I actually wondered what I would use them for. But I really like them too. So, what I actually discovered was these are perfect as highlighters um, for my planner. So... You can see I've used them on here. It's just one swipe. Oh, I'll use the pink one. This is just one swipe all the way across. And it allows me to just, you know, highlight these pages and it actually works really well. Now, I wouldn't highlight um, over the pen that I'm using because um, it would just smear so I have to make sure that I, I do this first which I do and it, it works quite well but I don't really have anything else that does this quite as well as this and I was quite thrilled when I actually discovered that this is actually how I could use this so um, that's what I'm actually doing I don't think I've done this week oh yes I did I only just did to there that's right so I actually didn't do all the page. I only just did to here. Ah, yeah, whereas the previous week I did it all. That's okay. So that is those pens and I really, really love them.
no idea where you'd get them as i said i got them in a stationary box last year so i have no idea where they come from but if you put in ruchon petite these are made in japan um so who knows where they might actually come up so that is a look at my pencil case with all of my things stuffed inside but it fits everything quite well and it's super lightweight and I'm really happy with this. The only other thing that I generally need uh, to take with me if I'm heading out to a coffee shop or something like that is some art supplies and I could certainly come back and show you what I take for those. So there you have it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.